Okay, there is one more thing we need to do for the add category.php page. As you now see, when we try to add uncategorized again, it does not actually get re-added to the categories table. However, we're not getting some sort of message. So we're going to go inside add category.php and here we are going to say whoops php if is set let's put that on a separate line if is set error so if there is actually an error then we're going to echo whoops b error and then we're going to close that and that's it so we can go here and when we add uncategorized again we get that category sorry already exists if we make it more than 24 characters category names can only be up to 24 characters and when we submit an empty field we see that that also works okay now we can move on to the category list this will simply list all the categories in well the order doesn't matter so we're not gonna order it but basically what we're gonna do here is inside here we're gonna open up new PHP block and we're gonna say for each get categories as category so again we have not made this get categories um, function yet so we're gonna do that now so here we just need all the categories we don't need to uh, retrieve any specific categories so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start very basic and I'm going to say um, categories equals array so we're going to store the category data in an array and we'll just do mysql query select ID and name from the categories table. Oops, there we go. Then we do while row equals mysql fetch asos query categories and then we're going to add another element to it and that will be the same as row. Basically what this does is it makes categories which is an array and we store a category in it and that has an ID as well as a name if we would have another one say test that would have an ID of 2 and test and then we can simply loop over this and easily display the data of course we also need to return categories so that's fine for now let's see if this works so I'm just going to echo category name with um, a break again just to see if it works I'm going back to the index oh of course I emptied the index so that's not going to work. I'm going to category list.php undefined function. Oh, here we go again. Of course, I need to include in it dot php. Now refresh, and we see uncategorized. So let's add another category say PHP 
and now when we go to the category list we get both of them good now of course this needs to be a bit more um, expanded uh, on again my English is good enough but not top-notch so I don't know exactly how to say some things I just hope you understand anyway we are going to provide a link to the category so we're just gonna put every category in a in its own paragraph just to make it a bit easier to look at I'm gonna say a ref equals I'm just going to do category.php id equals and then we echo category id and in here we will echo whoops php echo category name and now when we view this we get them as links and here we see the ID equals 1 and here it's 2 now for every category we also want to be able to delete it so we're going to add that behind it ARF equals I'm immediately going to close it again and we're going to say delete category.php ID equals and then once again echo category ID and in here we're just going to say delete refresh it and there we have the delete links so that's the next thing we're going to do we're going to delete category.php and in it we're going to as usual include in it's .php. Now we're going to check if the ID was actually set. So, in other words, if a category is specified. Now this could be expanded upon a lot, but this gives you basically how it should work. And if no ID was specified in the URL, that's what get does. We're going to redirect the user to index.php and we'll kill the script. Now otherwise we're going to delete something and then once again we'll redirect to index.php. So delete a new function. It takes two parameters, a field, of course, since we're using it in a query. Oops mysql real escape string field and for the id since it's supposed to be an integer we can just cast it to an integer and then we use the delete syntax so we'll say delete from and here we say field should be table just making it a bit more semantic table select or delete from table so here we're using a sort of more dynamic query people often seem to forget that this is also possible it's very useful so delete from table where ID equals ID and that finishes that up and now of course we need to say here delete from categories where ID equals get ID so let's add another test category so test and we'll go to category list.php and now let's oh wait let's redirect to category list.php 
Now when I hit delete here, oh, still redirects to index, doesn't matter. We'll uh, look at that later. Category list.php and we see it's still there. Um, once again, I made a mistake. That's good. It shows you debugging. But I passed the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to stop it here. And in the next video, we're going to sort this out. So, bye.